In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell music on WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So whether you want to sell an entire album or a single track, I'm going to show you exactly how to do so step by step. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a similar setup to this store here. So for example, when we scroll down here, you can see all the different tracks and albums that we've got on the store. We can quickly filter by a category. We can filter by a certain um, genres as well. And we can add more filtering options as well. We can filter by songs which are on sale. We can quickly sort by our favorite artists and we can show additional information such as we're showing the, the track BPM here the runtime and then we've got a nifty um, add to cart icon here as well we can also go ahead and sample sample the song before they make a purchase and all the additional information that they might need to make an informed purchase so if you want to create a similar setup on your wordpress website the first step is to head over to woosuite.com and go ahead and download and install the woocommerce product table and this will allow us to create a similar um, music store to this one so assuming you've done so let's head back over to our dashboard and i'll leave the link to all the resources mentioned in this video in the description below so now let's head back over to our dashboard okay so throughout this process we're going to be using free plugins so we'll use the woocommerce product table by WooSuite. we'll use woocommerce itself and we'll also use advanced custom fields just to display those extra information as well and then optionally we can use a audio plugin to um, display like the audio icon and stuff like that but i'll show you as we go on throughout this video okay so the second step is to go ahead and install advanced custom fields so you go plugin add new and you just want to go ahead and search for acf and then you want to install advanced custom fields here by delicious brains it's got over 2 million um, active installations and to install the woocommerce product table by WeSuite, you'll just go ahead and click upload so you should have received the downloadable file and then you'll just add it here and click install and activate it the third step is to go ahead and actually configure our custom fields before we do anything else so once you've installed the advanced custom fields you see this new menu here which says custom fields go ahead and click add new since i've already created my custom fields i'm going to click on field groups and here i've created this field group here called music you can name it whatever you want it's just for internal purposes only the main thing is these fields here so here you can see i've added a field um, titled artist album bpm and you can add other information as well so to add um, a field you just go ahead and click add field just give it a name here so let's say for example if we wanted to create a field for the release date so we can display when this particular song or track was released so we can just name the field you can name it release date in my case i'm just going to name mine released and then we can just go ahead and close this field here you'll notice that the plugin will automatically create this um, lowercase version of the label here. So I created released here. So we've got the capital R, whereas here it's got the lowercase R. So this is this section is very important. So the name, we'll come back to this later on. So now once you've added all the fields in which you require for your music store, you'll navigate to this section here where it says location rules and then we want to set the post type is equal to and here you want to select product so this way it'll it will associate these fields in which we created to our products and you just go ahead and click publish in my case it's update so the fourth step is to go ahead and create the actual individual albums or tracks that you'll be displaying in your music store okay so to do this we'd go products and then add new Again, since I've already created all these ahead of time, I'm just going to click products and all product and I'll show you exactly how I've set up the product in the back end. So let's go ahead and edit this product. So in your case, you will give the album name here or the track name. So here I've added this track name here and then for the product categories, this is how you categorize all the different um, songs and albums in your music store. So you just add it here and you can add tags as well okay and then here's our custom fields so our music field group so, and if you can remember we created created a field for artists album bpm time and then we just created one for release as well so one more thing before we um 
before we continue with this, let's quickly head back over to our custom fields. And I'm going to change this release date field type to date picker. So to do this, we just click edit. Okay. And then here you can see the field type is set to text. I'm going to scroll down and select, I'm going to select date picker here and we can choose the format. I'm going to leave it as it is. And now I'm just going to click update. Okay. And now let's refresh this page and we will see the difference with this field here. Okay, so now when we click release, um, here we can actually select the date in which this particular song or album was released. So we'll just select that here and we can display this information on the front end as well. We'll ignore this custom field for now. This is for a separate tutorial. Okay, so you'll add your album cover or track cover here where it says product image. And then for this short description, this is quite important. So this is where you'll actually add the album preview. So for example, you can just go ahead and click add media and then you can just drag and drop the album or track sample. So there's an optional step as well if you wanna display the play icon. So if we check our front end, so here I'm displaying a play button instead of this, um, play bar here so if you if you're happy with the design of this play bar you can just use the default wordpress add media option here or you can use a third party plugin just like how we've got here so the plugin in which i'm using for this i'll leave it in the description below it's called compact play if i'm not mistaken i'll leave all the links um, in the description below and basically what it does it allows you to so it's similar to this one it allows you to embed um, an icon with the track name as well here. It's this, this is optional. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one for now and I'm gonna leave our play icon here. Okay, so for the product data, I've just set this to simple product. You can also set it to a variable product as well if you wanna add different options such as allowing users to get um, the standard version or maybe the mix and mastered version. Um, yeah, it's totally up to you. Another key point in which we need to select is here where it says virtual product. So we'll tick this option. That means there's no need to add um, a shipping address or anything like that. And then we'll also tick this option where it says downloadable because this is a downloadable product. And when we tick that option, we get all these extra information here. So price, regular price, we can set the price here. If you want to put this product on sale, you can add a sale price here as well. Okay, so for the downloadable files here, you just go ahead and select the file. So this is the complete, this is the full version, right? So this isn't the sample version. This is the file that the user will get once they've purchased this particular track. So you just go ahead and select your track here and then just click insert file URL. This way it will also protect the file. So let's say for example, if a user try to share the download link, it wouldn't work unless they're actually logged into their account. And you can also limit the number of time the user can re-download this track or album. So you'll just set it here and also you can set this uh, download link to expire within a given time period as well. Or you can just leave it blank, meaning the download link will never expire. Okay, so I think that's all the information that we need to set up on our product page. So this is how you'll add your track or music. So now once you've done that, you just repeat this step for all the different products. As you can see, when we go back to all products here, so let's save this because we've just updated this field here where it says released. Okay, and now when we go back to all products, you can see I've just repeated the process for all the other tracks in which I plan to sell on this particular music store. So step five is to actually display our tracks and albums in a more user-friendly format showing all the extra custom fields in which we've just created as well. So this is where the WooSuite product table comes in. So you just navigate to WooSuite and then click on product table. In your case, you'll click on add-ons and then go ahead and install this product table option here. So I'll go ahead and click on it now. Okay, so now we just go ahead and click add new table. Since I've already created this table, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit mine, but you just click add new table. And then we just give this table a name and it's just for internal purposes only so you know exactly what this table's for. So I've just named mine um, music display. Okay, and then here where it says order form page. All right, so you've got the option to automatically insert this product table on a particular page on your WordPress site. Okay, so then we'll just navigate down to form information and this is where we'll build out the individual columns. 
So for example, here I've got one displaying our image. We've got the sample, so the user can play the sample um, track. We've got the artist name, the album, um, BPM time, and we've also got the option for the user to go ahead and buy the track. Okay, so let's head back to product table. And to configure this, you basically just drag and drop the available columns here. So for example, you'll add the product name, meaning the track name, and then we'll add the short description because this is where we added the track preview, if you remember correctly. Okay, and then we'll just display our custom data as well. We can also display the price. Okay, so I think in my example, the price wasn't displaying. And then to rearrange this, we just simply drag and drop it here. Okay, so I'm going to X this off because I've already added it. Okay, so this is the name block and then you can just rename it so it's more appropriate. So in this, sorry, and this is the image block and you can just rename it so it's more appropriate to the user. So this one, I've just named it um, cover for the cover image and then just go ahead and click update to save it. Same again for for short description. So this is a short description block. And I've just renamed it to sample because this it makes more sense to the user that way. And then we'll click the pencil icon to edit it. For the data source, we'll select post type and we'll navigate back over to custom fields here to get the field names that we created. Okay, so we should have made a note of this in the first place. Well, let's go ahead and click edit on this music group here. So if we wanted to display the artist information, we'll just copy over this text here so we'll copy over the information on the name so the name field and we can just make a note of this separately so we can use it later on so in my case I'm going to add this new field in which you created release date okay so I'm just going to copy over this um, lowercase version here where it says released and then we head back over to our product table we click on custom data data source post type and then we just paste it in here and then click update, All right? That's saved, fine. So we can X this off and then we can rearrange this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna save changes here and then I'm gonna show you how it's looking on the front end. So let's go ahead and save changes. And you sh when we refresh this page, you should see that new column that we just added. So we added two columns, so we added the price column. Okay, so now when we refresh this page, we can see this, the release date of this particular track. Okay, and usually you just go ahead and set it for all um, the particular tracks which you've got on your store. So that's how you create a new custom column with a custom field. Okay, so let's head back over to our product table and let's continue editing it. Okay, so we can set the image size. So it's width first and then we've got the height. And then here I've enabled this option. So if you're gonna use the third party plugin to display the preview sample of the track, then you'd want to go ahead and enable short code because in most cases um, those particular plugins will display the track sample via short code so just enable this option here so the short code will work fine okay and then in our case we've actually got a custom cart icon you can't see because our icons white okay so here's our cart icon but it's not showing here because it's um, displayed white so to add a new one you just click upload slash add image and just go ahead and drag and drop any cart icon you'd like and just click select and that's it if you didn't want to add a cart icon as well you can just rename the add to cart button here okay and then for bulk add to cart we'll leave everything as it is for form control for the most part we're going to leave most of the options um, blank but a few noteworthy options which you might um, be using is where it says product condition so we've got the option to add various conditions to control what products will be displayed in our product table. So for example, we can choose to display um, tracks from a particular category and we can just go ahead and select it here and we can add conditional rules as well. So let's say you wanted to say display all songs in the beats category and um, maybe you want to say it's got a particular tag of um, funky for example so this means that our product table will only display songs in the beats category and it's got the tag funky so you can create complex rules like that but in our case i'm just going to leave it blank and this way it will display all the products within our store okay so for the product filters i'm going to select custom here 
and I'm going to allow our users to filter the songs via category tags and I'm also going to allow users as well to filter the songs based on tracks which are currently on sale as well. So that option is currently you've got this checkbox here and this will enable us to only display songs which are currently on sale. If you click this link here, you can see all the different um, options in which you've got. So for example, you can filter by various attributes, custom fields, and so on. Okay, so again, I'm gonna leave most of these blank for now. Under where it says form design. So um, currently I've customized my design. So it matches the style of the site i've got a black background and typically the table is gray so i've customized it to display um just like this so if we click on form design here and then we just enable where it says design we just enable custom and you can go ahead and customize the colors and so on if you wanted a more advanced styling as well you can enable this custom css option and then just go ahead and add your own custom css to get that unique design so once you've finished customizing everything just go ahead and click save changes okay and then once you've okay so now that we've saved changes we just go ahead and hit this back button here to go back to our general settings page and now we can go ahead and replace our default um, shop page with our new product table layout okay so if you remember we named this one product display and then here where it says shop pages we just go ahead and select the appropriate product table in which we're going to use to display on our shop page. You can do the same for the category page as well and the same for the tag page. So we just go ahead and hit save page, save changes. So here you can see the user can quickly find the appropriate songs or albums in which they're searching for. They can quickly preview it and then just quickly add it to cart as well. One last thing, if you want to include this particular product table on a different page, all you have to do is go ahead and copy this short code here and then paste it into um, any page or post and it will display all the products that you specified it to display within this product table. So I've already created beforehand a new page. So my page is called Royalty Free Beats. And if we edit this page, you can see here I'm showing some information here. I'm adding a call to action. We've got an image here as well and we could just add the short code in which we've just copied. Alternatively, whilst we're actually editing the product table, if we click edit, you might have noticed that here it said royalty free beats, which is that page in which I've just showed you. And I've selected this page and it will automatically insert the product table onto this page. So if we view the page, here you can see that extra information which I was just showing you and you can see our product table displaying underneath. So there's various ways in which you can create and customize your audio store in WooCommerce. And that's how you sell albums and individual tracks on WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.